the next 20 minutes um, uh, in how the birth control pill theoretically causes breast cancer and increases your risk. Because very few people um, appear to be aware of it. And as I'll show you later in the talk, um, there's a good reason for that. So <clears throat> in the United States, these figures are a little bit outdated, but about 200,000 women get breast cancer every year. And about um, 40,000 die from their breast cancer. Many times you'll hear that breast cancer is rare in women under age 50, but it's really not. Um, uh, there's about 50, 45 to 50,000 women who get breast cancer under age 50. So it's about 20% of all cases, 20 to 25%. Uh, okay. There are a number of factors for breast cancer. One, one of the biggest factors is family history. The older you are, the higher your risk of breast cancer. If you've taken hormones or if you have late menopause or your cycle started early, uh, early menarche. The earlier you have children, the lower your risk of breast cancer. Um, and there's several other um, factors there. <clears throat> As you can see, this is the list kind of goes on. Um, if you've had, been exposed to radiation, that tends to increase your risk of breast cancer, and probably an early miscarriage and induced abortion increase your risk of breast cancer. So as you can see, there are about 15 factors, and it's not that easy to show that the birth control pill causes or increases your risk of breast cancer because it's one of many factors. So why have breast cancer rates risen? Um, in the United States, over the last 40 or 50 years, breast cancer rates have gone up between usually about 30 to 70 percent. And the rate of breast cancer, if you look at the charts, in women under 50, has gone up maybe only 10 or 20 percent. But that's because most of our data comes from um, the SEER, the surveillance epidemiology people in Washington, D.C. And their statistics really only go back to mostly 1975. But there's one state, Connecticut, that uh, has statistics for women under age 50. And if you look at the rate of breast cancer, it goes up markedly after 1960. And 1960 is when the birth control pill was uh, approved by the FDA in this country. So the rates in young women under age um, 50 have gone up about 50% in the last 50 years. We have to ask ourselves why. Uh, women are having fewer children. The more children you have, the more protected you are for breast cancer. Every time you have a child or breastfeed uh, for six months or more, your risk of breast cancer and ovarian cancer go down about five or ten percent. So I tell people, if you just have ten children, your risk is pretty much zero. <laughs> okay, women are, are breastfeeding. I don't know if it's picking up uh, more than before, but there was a decline for a number of decades. And since breastfeeding protects you, um, the rate of breast cancer seemed to increase as women breastfed less. Induced abortion is another subject. Uh, that tends to increase your risk of breast cancer. And the birth control pill. Uh, so what is the birth control pill? It's a combination usually of two hormones, um, and they are synthetic. So they're not, your body makes progesterone and estradiol, natural hormones, but these are, are usually synthetic hormones. And how do they work? They, they, they suppress ovulation, although a recent paper I read from Canada shows that the lower, lower dose birth control pill, you're still ovulating 15 or 20% of the time, pretty high rate when they look at ultrasounds and they look at hormone levels. So they don't suppress them as much as the older types. They thicken cervical mucus, and they change the lining of the endometrium and make it thinner. So when women are put on birth control pills, usually their menses um, decrease in volume, and that makes sense because the lining of the endometrium is thinner. Um, so one of the ways they probably work is causing an early abortion at times, although people, it's difficult to measure how often that happens. Just a quick um, overview. I won't go into all these slides, but um, the birth control pill increased the risk of breast cancer in uh, rats and dogs 
and monkeys. So that was in the 1960s, 1970s that these studies came out. Um, <clears throat> and there's a, a, a pathologist named Anderson in 1989 who noticed that if you take the birth control pill, your rate of breast cell division goes up. So why is that important? Um, all of our cells are, are dividing and maturing throughout our lives except basically our nerve cells. So your skin cells, your intestinal cells, and the breast cancer cells also, they divide and mature. And every time through your monthly cycle as the um, levels of hormones and progesterone goes up in the luteal phase, they divide and t tend to mature. So what happens when you get put on the birth control pill um, is, I don't know if I have a pointer here, but if you could see the, um, on, your, on your left is the early part of the menstrual cycle, and in the green is how fast your breast cells are dividing, um, and in the late part, the luteal phase, in the green is how fast your breast cell divides. So your breast cells divide more quickly toward the end of your cycle. The, the pink, the pink shows what happens when you're on the birth control pill and they increase the rate of cell, uh, breast cell division. So um, does anybody remember the I Love Lucy version when Ethel and Lucy are making chocolates and they start having to put the chocolates in their shirts and they can't keep up? Well, they're gonna make some, some pretty bad chocolates because you, know, you can't speed up an assembly line. So in the same manner, you know, our bodies were designed to work in a certain way and if you speed them up, you're gonna get what's called a DNA error. And if that error is a cell waiting to become a cancer cell 10 or 20 years later. So uh, birth control pills probably cause breast cancer because they speed the rate of breast cell division. And it's possible that they cause early abortions. And even in early abortions, the hormone levels are starting to go up. And if you have an early abortion, even in the first week of life, the hormone levels drop, and that's called a hormonal blow by researchers. I don't think that's how they cause breast cancer, but uh, that is a possible mechanism. Okay. Now, we, you know, they're animal models, and we have a theoretical model, so we have to ask ourselves, how come nobody's heard of this, and what do the human, the studies in humans show? And basically all of the medical associations have consistently said that the birth control pill is, is pretty, pretty safe. And if you read, um, you know, from ACOG, they, they pretty, pretty much say it's a good thing. Wouldn't you agree, Mike? I mean, they, every time I read about it, it's, it's, it's like the greatest thing since sliced bread. Um, most physicians, family docs, and, and I think uh, OBGYNs, and most researchers, if you ask them, does the birth control pill increase the risk of breast cancer? They go back to a study, which was a pooled analysis. It's all the world studies done in 1996. And it took 54 studies, uh, 53,000 women, 25 countries. And they basically said, this is their conclusion. Women who are currently using combined oral contraceptives or have used them in the past 10 years are at a slightly increased risk of having breast cancer diagnosed, although the additional cancers tend to be localized to the breast. So what does that mean? That means if, you're, if you took the birth control pill from age 15 to 25, your doctor could say to you, looking at this and saying, you know, if you stop the birth control pill now, you'll have a slightly increased risk until the age of 35, and then your risk is the same as everyone else. 